Now in this video, I will share the two exit criteria to consider when you are thinking of selling a property. Now as agents, we often hear homeowners sharing how they are waiting for the right price to sell their property. But the issue is to determine the right price requires a consideration of other factors as well. The quantum alone is never enough. And this is something I've learned from Kelvin Fong's property wealth system in which he shares nine exit criteria. But for the purpose of this short video, we'll just share two exit criteria. The rest of the criteria I'll share in subsequent videos. Now for the purpose of illustration, let's consider Central Green Condominium, a private residential property located in Chiang Bahru in Singapore. So assuming in 2011, the owner bought his 926 square feet place at 1,296 PSF. Now 8 years down the road, in mid-2019, someone offered to buy his place at 1,450 PSF. Then the question is, should he sell? Now let's take a look at the first exit criteria to consider and that is, has the latest transacted price exceeded the last peak price. Now let's take a look at the transaction prices and the volume of Central Green Condominium. Now based on the graph, you can see that the transacted prices peaked twice before. Once in 2008 and another in 2013. The peak in 2013 is higher than that of 2008. So back to the question, has the latest transacted price in 2019 exceeded the peak price in 2013? So compare the chart and you can see that the last transacted price in 2019 of 1,544 PSF has exceeded the past peak price of 1,507 PSF in 2013. Now the second exit criteria to look at is whether there is a strong profit margin. Now the offer was 1,450 PSF. So the profit from the sale would therefore be about 142 k after holding the property for 8 years. Now together with the principal regain which is the monthly mortgage repayments that he has been paying to offset the loan, he would have about 398000 in cash on hand for him to pay the down payment for one or two properties with higher potential upside. So these are the two exit criteria that you can consider. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next video.